believe what you can show or just believe from what you know what make a book holy if god never wrote it imagine god was just misquoted if god was so in matthew 20 25 jesus is telling his disciples not to lord over the gentiles right he says they lord over people but it shall not be so with you for whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Now, if Jesus is lording over people, if Jesus is Lord over us, but he's telling his disciples not to lord over other people, how can Jesus be a great servant? How can he be the greatest servant if you're not supposed to lord over people, you're supposed to serve the people. Yet Jesus did say, I did not come to serve. I did not come to be served, but to serve. But you got everybody serving Jesus. In the Bible, the disciples worship Jesus. So according to Jesus, if you're lording over people, you are not a great servant. Now let's get into the, to the, what this word Lord means to Lord over someone is ex exercising Lordship, exercising authority over. Let me move my screen. To overcome, to overpower, being Lords over. Yeah, exercising Lordship. So if you call Jesus your Lord and you're serving him, how is Jesus a great servant? If Jesus is saying that great servants don't lord over people, but yet Jesus is lording over us, right? He's the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. If the disciples is supposed to follow Jesus' example, then Jesus should not be lording over anybody. Why well, call Jesus Lord if the Lord said you should not be lording over people? So if we are following Jesus' example, as the Bible says, we should be imitators of Christ. Then if the disciples are following Jesus, being, you know, being an imitator of Christ, how can they be a great servant when Jesus is not being a great servant by allowing people to serve and worship him, even though he's saying that he says that he didn't come to be served? He said he didn't come to do his own will. He came to do his father's will. Well, why did, why did you allow people to worship you? Why did you lord over people? To lord over him also means to be master over, to have mastery over, right? So Jesus also called his disciples slaves. He referred to his own disciples as slaves, right? So Jesus is the only master. He says you have one master. Well, I guess he didn't say he was master. And in this case, in this instance, he told the disciples, you have one master, and that is your father in heaven. So why are people serving Jesus? If Jesus said the greatest servant shall be a servant and shall not be served. Why is Jesus telling his disciples not to lord over anyone, not to exercise lordship or authority or control over anyone if he had that same authority and control over his own disciples? Contradiction. 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 It ain't no contradiction. You just need to speak.